Okay, now we have our pre-mixed parent colors set to go. We have everything. We have our source here. Uh, and so the sequence is dark to light, thin to thick. If you get too much paint on right from the beginning, you're, you're cooked. You just can't, there's no place to go. I add this, this, uh, this medium to my paint, especially in the earth, this gal could to speed up the drying process. It makes it a little bit tacky because what I'm going to do eventually is go over this painting about four times. You can see this, this was a demonstration I did years ago that had the, the basic shapes and you can see as, as you go down here, the, the shapes got smaller and lighter and more detailed. So we're going to just try to get, get the block in today just to give you an idea how this, how this works. So I'm going to start with this, this darkest color. And I'm just pulling this off of here. And you can see my source is up on, on that, on that easel up there kind of high. And I'm not thinking about too much here, but getting, getting these big shapes covered as quickly and as simply as possible. And this really, what it does is it allows you to get a lot of volume into the masses. Not seeing any detail at all. Just trying to imagine these as nice, simple shapes to start off with. Later, if you want to wipe off an area, this is the beauty at this point is you can take your paper towel and just and cut, wipe off a, an area and paint right around it. That's, that's the thing about oil paint. It's very, very fluid. I'm use the same brush here for this. I'm going to move over to the, uh, to the shadow side of this building. because that color is already pre-mixed. It's, it's really easy for me to put this in here right off the bat. I'm adding a couple of the others. And that's the other thing is you could you can mix these together because they've al you already got them. So I need a light area on there. I simply, uh, I can bring this down here, add cadmium white, and the, the uh, this is, the, or the, the cadmium yellow deep with white. And this can be the, the beginning of this. See, it's derived from that. Now look at this, this is, this is the light family here. Shows you how quickly that can be done now, achieved with. Go back to the to that dark one, dark shape. I'm going to change brushes, and put in the this what I called the. The street shadow color. It's a it's a brick street. Uh, this is there's going to be some blue in here from the sky. The sky reflects onto that. So I have blue sky color, which will really be nice to to put in a little bit later. Painting thin as simply as possible. Now, do I want the the if I add white and yellow to that, that will immediately start becoming 
the color for the light family here. You didn't have to reinvent the wheel. Put a sidewalk over here. Okay, then I have a color that's that's for the uh, for this for these. I call it the light brick colors. I have a thinner brush for for the dark for the dark simple shapes. This telephone pole, for instance. Let's get that guy in there. And if you need to make a path for that, I call this a solvent path, where where that dark can can get a grip right down to the to the lemon. There were some there were some fire escapes up here. Let's put this in just to simplify. I'm gonna gonna put this in to give you give you an idea how quickly this goes in here. I'm using the same colors that I started with. One thing I like about this, this method is, is it actually speeds up the painting time. Uh, and you can do the variations on, a lot of these colors just need to be very light, dark, or warm, or cold. So, so you can have this really nice contrast, uh, the same color that has a, has these different coolness or warmness or a slight shift in value. But most of the time I'm thinking about a change of, of color temperature rather than value for, for these. There's the, okay, let's, I'm gonna hurry this up and get a, just to show you that this, I'm exaggerating this, but look, that's what would be the, uh, The dark color that I use for here is also a good one for the uh, for the fire escape that that has dark shapes to it. When you're outside. You're really in a race against time. So if you pre-mix your color, then you're, when you're ready, really ready to paint, it's it's kind of you're ready to go. going to shift to a different brush altogether, one I haven't used. Want to keep your colors as clean as possible. That's why I go from dark to light here. You can see how luminous this will become. Yeah, I never know how this is going to come over on, 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 your, on your computer screen. Paint right up to th two things. So you see that creates a nice volume to these. Using these big brushes. And I'm gonna kind of wrap it up here. I think this is this gives you the idea, perhaps just to show you how you can lighten that up. And that gives you a pretty good idea of how to block in a painting. And if, and if you just practice that, that would probably be enough. It's just do these starts. Hope you enjoyed it.